All right, guys, this is a little branch from a Brazilian red cloak that I just accidentally broke off in my garden. I was about to do a video on this coleus, actually. I'm uh, repotting it for my buddy David. And this broke off, so I'm going to show you how to propagate it. It's very easy to propagate a Brazilian red cloak. You can start with any cutting like this. Take off some of the bigger leaves. I usually take them off all the way up to the very tip top. And you see I had to pull a little bit on that one. I don't want to pull and rip it. I can use that machete there or a pair of scissors and get real close on it and just cut it. Um, but typically, you should be able to break it. See that one there? I didn't pull and make a long rip down the plant, but uh, I almost used the scissors for it. The other way you can do it is you can just cut it. These two leaves here are more than enough to leave on the plant. I usually leave them like that. A lot of people cut them even shorter. They'll take the leaves that are left on the top and sometimes make them little half leaves like that just so the plant spends all the energy for the roots to help build the new roots and stuff but I've never had a problem leaving a few leaves on the top so I'm going to leave this one just like that and then on the bottom you want to take this rough skin off machete is usually good for that just kind of take a real thin thin layer off of that skin you can almost scrape it even and if you didn't have a machete you can use anything sharp you can use scissors, you can use your pruning shears, whatever you want to use. Just get that thick, white, heavy skin off of there. <clears throat> Used to talk in fishing, skin, more like a, a bark or whatever it would be. There you go. You see most of that stuff's off. It's going to be really easy for the roots to pop out of there. A lot of people use rooting hormone. I actually have a rooting hormone in there, but it's not necessary. You can just take this and stick it straight in the ground and it'll grow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this pot here. Throw it in one of these that I got going. And this is just miracle grow potting soil. Whoops, wrong setting. I like to kind of work it in there a little bit. It's wetter than it needs to be, and I'm not going to water this very much at all after I put it in there. I'll usually let the rain do that for me. Just stick it out here and let it grow. That's all there is to it right here. Okay. This is a very well drained pot. Any excess water that's in there, if I overwater this, which is very easy to happen in the rain or really in a lot of plants when you first propagate them because they don't have a lot of roots and a lot of leaves. So you want it well drained so that'll all go out. And I'll show you what one of these looks like when they're full grown. This is actually where I broke it from. Right here. These are the Brazilian red cloaks. There's no flowers on them yet, but they get these big, beautiful red flowers. I'll probably have a clip or two pop up for you. I got these from my mom's house. I took a clipping from hers, stuck them down on the ground, started with three plants, and they just keep spreading out. Another good thing about if you do accidentally break a branch like I did, it's 100 degrees out here, or if you purposely want them to fork out, you just break it off here. Here's one that was cut probably about a week ago, and you can already see the new growth here. There's going to end up being at least two branches coming out of there. It was also cut right here where it was forked off. It was cut right there probably about six, seven, eight months ago, a while back into last year. And uh, you know, they just keep sprouting out and they'll get bushier the more you cut them down. So it doesn't really hurt to chop them back. And uh, that's how you propagate a Brazilian red cloak.